So everyone keeps saying that the stock market is crashing. We're going into a recession. Um, but I actually don't think that. I think it's just a overdue market correction and just a little fear mongering coming from the whole coronavirus thing. But that's a good thing that we're having a market correction because for a long time, uh, everything was at an all time high and still sort of is floating around that area. Um, but now a lot of the stocks that I've been looking at are on sale and I just recently purchased a bunch of stocks. Um, well, quite a few stocks and I just added two new positions to the portfolio. <laughs> so I hope you guys have done the same in this. Um, this time right now is a great time to get stocks on sale. If it goes lower, I'm going to continue to put more money into it. But anyway, guys, let's take a look at my Robin Hood portfolio. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Michael Romero. For those who don't know me, I'm a small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things and help people out along the way. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so you can join this family we got going on. Once again, thank you guys so much for getting me to 375 by today, which is March 1st. Um, I definitely want to hit 450 subs by the end of uh, March. So let's see if we can hit that. Also, guys, appreciate everything you guys have been doing for the channel. Go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps this channel as m more than you guys know. <clears throat> also, sorry if I sound a little weird this morning. I, uh, I just woke up a couple minutes ago and I decided to get this video out of the way because I may be shooting two videos today. So anyway, guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my phone so we can take a look at the portfolio and all the new positions I bought and just generally how it is doing. The total of my portfolio was $3,100. Should be a lot more than that, but we all know what's been going on with the coronavirus. So on the day as of yesterday, well, as of uh, Friday, I was down $63 and I came up around 15 more bucks. On the week, I'm down 9.55%, which is $332.45, which is a major lick. As you can see, I'd be around 3480 3, bucks if this wouldn't have fallen. But it's okay because I have been putting more money into these stocks that have been falling. Let's see. Um, on the month, I'm down 11.14%, which is almost $400, which is crazy. I have never seen a, a, such a fast drop like this before in the years that I have been um, investing, which isn't too many, but um, this is an awesome learning experience for me and anyone else who is relatively new to the stock market. Um, let's see, over the past three months, I'm down $330.38. I'd be a lot closer to 4000 4, but it's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of these that I got going on here. So Ford, with Ford, I'm down um, almost $101. Well, actually $101, but I have a $7.50 dividend coming, um, what is it, March 2nd. I'm down 22% on here, I'm not worried about it. I do plan to add more to this, um, hopefully in the next couple weeks. Next we have SPHD and I reinvested the dividend in here and I think I also bought, yeah, I bought two more. Um, yeah, I reinvested the dividend and I bought another share um, of this at a much lower price, bringing my cost average down to $41.25. I'm down uh, about 9%, which is $41.99. Let's see on the one year chart here. See, cool. that just straight drop. I don't know. I, it's funny. It's not funny, but it makes me smile because I know that these are at great, awesome, you know, they're good deals right now. And I wish I had more money to put into it, but unfortunately we know how bills work. So we got to pay those first before we can do this. Um, next we have MJ. I think, yes, I bought, no, I'm sorry. One new share of MJ at a lower price bringing my dollar cost average down to $17.58. I'm down 20%, which is $78.76. Coca-Cola. Man, I just want to put so much money in all of these. Um, but 
have to do it in such a way I decided to add a little bit more to different positions but let's see so I didn't buy anything with this but I'm still up two dollars and 29 cents um, and I do plan on reinvesting any of the dividends I get back into these being that we can do the uh, drip and the fractional shares but I don't have drip enabled yet because I'm still you know having fun just put punching it in myself so next we have Bank of America and Bank of America um, I still own seven shares. I didn't buy any new ones of this yet. Um, at six, I, I'm up six dollars and ten cents, which is three dollars and thirteen cents. <laughs> next, we have AGNC, and I have a pending dividend for next month of a dollar and seventy-seven cents of this month, actually. And I just recently no, <clears throat> so I reinvested a dividend of a dollar and seventy-seven cents, seventy-six cents. So I have a 0 0.09 of a share and I'm still up on AGNC uh, 6.45 percent which is eleven dollars and sixty seven cents I don't know if I want to be adding more money into this once I refund my account um, but we shall see Pfizer PFE I do have a dividend coming of a dollar fifty two uh, I did buy another share of this I'm down eleven dollars and seventy two cents that's six dollars and fifty five cents I'm sorry that's 6.55 percent i don't know why i always do that um market buy yeah i bought one at 36 dollars and 32 cents february 18th so that may have been a little bit before the dip but it's okay my dollar cost average is 35 dollars and 76 cents stag industrial um i have a dividend coming up for 60 cents which i will be reinvesting i'm down six dollars and 39 cents which is 3% and I have 6.03 shares. And I did reinvest the dividend, $1.17, and, and I bought in a share at a much lower price of $30.25. But uh, obviously it wasn't low enough to uh, keep me um, positive, but it's okay. I did drop my dollar cost average down to $29.04. Next we got AT&T. Next, we got AT&T, and I did buy a share of AT&T at $36.71, and I also reinvested a dividend of $2.08. So, um, I brought my dollar cost average down to $36.29. I am down $3.93, um, which is 1.79%. PSEC, Prospect Capital, let's see what we're working with, have a dividend of $1.87 coming up in March this month. I have 35.22 shares. My current price, which I brought down a lot, was six dollars and is six dollars and forty six cents. I'm down twenty nine dollars and thirteen cents, which is twelve point eighty one cents. Let's see. So February twenty first, I reinvested the dividend of a dollar fifty, and then February twenty seventh, I bought four shares at five dollars and ninety cents, and I will be reinvesting this dividend of a dollar eighty seven as well. MPW, I don't. I did not buy any more of MPW. I still am up $16.75. That's $15. No, that's 15.22%. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm still trying to wake up this morning. Next, we have Verizon, which is a much newer position. I have uh, three shares in Verizon. I'm down $15.93, which is $8, which is 8.97%. My dollar, my cost average is $59.47. Current price is $54.16. Let's see what it's done over the past year. You know, it's been down over the past year. Over the past five years, we've been going up pretty good. The 52 week low is $52.18. And as February 18th, I bought another share at $57.92. Next, we have Iberia Bank. I'm down $11.50. I'm down $11.29. That's 15.87%. Um, I do own one share of this. And I so far, I've got one dividend of 45 cents. And I, I've only bought, you know, one share of this bad boy. I do want to get more into it, though. Realty income. I'm up $2.21. I own 1.01 shares. You know that 0 0.01 is from reinvesting the dividend. Let's see. I reinvested one dollar because I couldn't reinvest 23 cents. It has to be a dollar or more. Next, we have Washington Prime Group. Um, 
these were free stocks from you guys for clicking the link in the description. And if you want a free stock and you're not part of Robinhood yet, you go ahead, click the link in the description. Once you sign up for Robinhood, you'll get a free stock just for signing up. You don't even have to fund your account and I'll get a free stock for doing so also. So if you want to get real serious about your financial future, go ahead and click the link in the description so you can get a head start on your uh, portfolio. Also, there's other links down there for Acorn and M1 Finance. If you want to go ahead and do that also, you'll get $5 for joining and you'll get $5 for joining and funding your account and I will get $5 when you do the same. So next, one of my newest positions, this is one I've been looking at for a while and I've been wanting to get more into this health insurance area. Just to diversify the portfolio more. So. Let's look at this bad boy. Over the past year, obviously it's down, but it's been up $56.51. <clears throat> PE ratio of 9.681. A dividend yield of 2.641. I'm one four, I'm sorry. And a market cap of 33.63 billion. Um, this is a great great time to buy this let's see the 52 week low is 41.92 52 week high is 57.18 and i bought one position one share at 45 dollars and 51 cents um i'm down two dollars and 16 cents which is 5.84 percent but i definitely think that this is going to go back up aflac is great and i think it's a great position to get into especially with this whole health thing we got going on because this is a what you would call like an insurance company, a health insurance, life insurance, whatever you want to call it. But it was founded in 1955. Aflac Incorporated is a holding company which engages in the provision financial protection services. It operates through Aflac Japan and Aflac United States segments. The Aflac Japan segment offers life insurance, death benefits, cash and cash surrounding values. The Aflac US segment sells voluntary supplement, <clears throat> voluntary supplemental insurance products for people who already have major medical and primary insurance coverage and it was founded in 1955 so it is a well-established company and it has been growing its dividend for the past couple of years uh, quite a while actually and it's yeah, i just think it's a great fit to this portfolio next we have starbucks um i have been wanting to get into the more consumer I, i've also been wanting to put more into consumer i do want to put more into um technology as well so i have a lot of financial a lot of real estate and a lot of etfs and i think that this consumer slash restaurant is going to be awesome for my portfolio they did take starbucks did take a hard hit because a lot of their um Stores got closed down overseas because of the whole coronavirus thing, but they did release that they're opening some of their stores back up due to, um, I guess, falling rates in infection. But let's see what it's done over the past year. Over the past year, it's gained about 8%. It's got close to $100, actually, $99. Let's see, five years. It's grown 68%. Past year, 12%. And obviously it's down over the past three months because of what's been going on. But so I bought one share at $80 and seven cents. I'm down, I'm down 83 cents, which is 1.04%. Got a PE ratio of 25, dividend yield of 2.091 and a market cap of 94.68 uh, billion, which is pretty great. Um, but I definitely have been looking forward to adding new positions into my portfolio and come next week because um, I fund my account every Monday. So if the markets are going down next week still and I find some more positions that I want to buy, I'm going to do so. If not, I'm going to continue to save my money, um, save my money in the cash area of my portfolio until I get enough to start adding different positions to my portfolio or at least buying more than one share at a time. You know, I like trying different strategies out on my dividend investing account just to kind of see what works better for me and to show you guys um, there's different ways of coming about, you know, strategizing your um, moves for your dividend investing or investing in general. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's pretty much what I have going on with my portfolio. You know, I'm down 
10%, 12%, 11%, almost 400 bucks. It'll be okay though, because I, I bought quite a few. Um, let's see, over the past, see, as you can see here, over the past seven days, buy, buy, buy. I've bought quite a few shares in a lot of different things. Uh, stuff I own in these two new positions. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this. Okay guys, let me know in the comments below what y'all are doing uh, to your portfolio. Are y'all holding? Are y'all adding more cash to it? Are y'all adding more positions to it? Are y'all buying new positions or adding to positions you already own? Um, are you selling? I wanna know, you know, what are you guys, what's the psychology behind your investing? Are you more prone to fear or not? So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys going on, what you guys got going on with your portfolio. Um, also, if you haven't hit that red subscribe button, go ahead and do so. Hit that red subscribe button so you can join this little family we got going on here. And uh, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps this channel more than you guys know. Once again, thanks for getting me to 375 by March 1st. Let's see if we can hit 450 by the end of March or maybe even 500. We might, we might shoot for the stars on this one. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much <clears throat> for watching this video. I'm gonna get out of here. If you wanna continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you gotta do is click one of these videos. All right, guys, y'all have a great day.